Um, I'm Maya Rudolph, and I lend my uh, voice to Daniela, Luca's mom. Um, she's a tough but loving mother who wants nothing uh, but to protect her son from the terrors of the outside world and wants to keep him safe. Um, Luca is a very um, sweet and uh, um, so, sort of reminder of childhood um, friendship and um, summertime, the romantic notion of summer and, um, um, you know, if, you're, if your childhood took place on the Italian Riviera, then this is what your childhood looked like. Um, and very much about finding your people and finding accepting your and, and, and finding acceptance within yourself and also finding people that really get you. It's hard, you know, you want to, you want so badly to protect your child and it's not necessarily because you don't trust your child, which is the hard message to relay, but it's more, at least in my experience, it's more about what you, what you want to protect your children from, you know, it's not so much that I don't trust them. It's that I, the world can be a tough place. So you want your child to be protected from all those pains, which we all know are growing pains and are important for people to go through. But at the same time, watching someone you love so deeply suffer through anything is really hard. I hope people take away um, a sense of um, that, uh, nostalgic feeling for summer and the freedom of summer fun and friendship and that discovery of when you find those friends for life um uh that you can always tap into you know that you can probably remember for the rest of your life um i i want uh people to to feel that joy that i think we all feel as adults um when we remember what it's like to be a kid in summertime. Yeah, working with Enrico um, felt very um, felt very exciting in that we were bringing his vision to life, um, which was, I thought, so beautifully um, told in this story. But also, I just felt like, I don't know, I could listen to him talk for, for hours. He's a very soothing voice um, and very, he's very joyful. And I think, especially in the midst of recording something so far away from each other in the middle of a pandemic um, and creating something that was, that had this joy in it, he was really, truly um, very much the, the captain of that. And um, it was very infectious. He's, um, he's really, he's, he's really fun. Um, so I'd, that was a, that was a nice part. And then going into it, knowing his work, you know, um, my family um, loved his uh, his Pixar short, La Luna. And, um, you know, I just felt like I was part, I was going to be part of something that um, was so uh, creatively exciting. And um, so I just felt like I was in such good hands that you're sort of just, you just show up like, yeah, what do you, what do you need from me? <sighs> I'm a Luca. Sorry, my friend is closing the door. I'm a Luca. I'm a Luca. I think, uh, I think, um, I would definitely not be building Vespas out of, uh, on, on my own and riding them down hills. It would take an Alberto to get me to do that for sure. Yeah. I'm a Luca.